already miss London. I know you guys are probably like, Gloria, chill, you're being dramatic. You chill, okay? You chill, you're being dramatic. How about, how about that, okay? I left a piece of me in London, for sure. But I brought a whole bunch of pieces of London back. <laughs> So as a lot of you guys may know, I just got back from a trip to London. Um, I went to London for work. I work on this show called Extra Butter. We review movies, we talk about movies. London is a place I've always wanted to go and, and had never been. And one of the things that I made sure to hit up when I was in London was boots. So I'm not gonna say Sephora, but almost like their Ulta because it has a tier of high end and it has a bunch of affordable makeup. Like they have their different tiers. It's also like a pharmacy. This definitely was a lot more expensive but worth it and I'm very excited so today I'm literally just going to show you guys what I bought I just want to share this with you and the reason I want to do this haul is because I really want to get your guys' input because I really want to do a full face UK makeup but I got so much stuff that I want to see like what you guys want me to try personally so go ahead and leave in the comment section down below what you guys want to see out of all of this we're a community here it's what we do we're really good at it this is a circle I actually got two bags I actually got the Boots store brand cleansing wipes. Now I got one cucumber one and two moisturizing ones. These were actually pretty affordable. I think they were three for five pounds, which I think would be around eight, nine dollars, which is still not bad. It's still a really good deal. And I actually have already tried them because I used them on the plane on my way back from the UK just to keep my skin kind of moisturized. And it's a 10 hour plane ride. And I used the rose ones to keep my skin moisturized because you know, planes and shit. But it worked out really well. I'm so flippin' excited about this one, fam. I have always been a fan of this mascara, and the UK had to go and do it that much better. So this is the Maybelline Go Extreme Leather Black The Colossal Mascara. I have never seen this in the States. I honestly don't know if we have them, but if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know your girl Dumb excited about this mascara. Like this mascara was my ride or die until the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And then we know what happened there. This brush looks insane. It looks the titties. I can't wait. Brushes. I love brushes and as much as there's like a situation over here and I've never tried this brand, I'm pretty sure it's masked. Very unique. I love a good fan brush and I feel like I always need powder brushes because I want to do a full face UK brand makeup. I was like, I gotta have the brushes too. And yeah, I Real Techniques brushes because Real Techniques do come from the UK, but I wanted to try something different and my boobs look great. Collection Sheer Loose Powder. Collection is a brand I saw a lot of over there and a really affordable brand. This is kind of hard to get out and it contains silk vitamin E and it actually has sunscreen in it, which is pretty dope because the sun it's there wonder 2 this I saw a lot of over there I don't know if it's from there feel free to school me I was only there for four days I watched a couple YouTube videos I don't know at all for dramatic length and bold volume in under two minutes I just feel like the cojones brands have to have to make claims like that like they just gotta be some big ones collection setting spray i almost want to do a full face like just collection so this is the primed and ready matte makeup setting spray it knows that i'm gonna prime with it and it knows that i'm gonna set with it i love it when makeup gets personal i dig it he listens. I don't think I paid more than $7 for anything that is Collection. Collection was like one of the most affordable brands over there. Titties. Boots Cucumber Eye Gel Bright Eyes to help reduce the appearance of puffiness. Made and tested love by Boots. YouTube hand. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I told myself when I got into that store, I'm not going to purchase anything from a brand that is already in America that I have like ready access to. I'm in London. I'm going to try out different things. I'm going to really soak in the culture. I'm gonna drink tea, I'm gonna wear a turtleneck, and I'm gonna watch Bohemian Rhapsody on a loop. But when I saw Maybelline, something caught my attention that I really couldn't ignore. The UK is doing it right, man. Like, when I saw the Fit Me Foundation in a squeezy tube, I don't understand why America is even trying to play these games. It almost hurts. I hate how it dispenses. It's the messiest dispenser. It gets crusty, it gets dirty, which you shouldn't have to worry about your makeup being so I've always said the second this drops in a pump like I'm dropping my panties or at least a squeezy tube Guess who flippin did that because guess who's just doing it right? 
so much more travel friendly so much more user friendly i had to get this i had to i got two maybelline face chrome extreme highlighters i know guys i know that these are in the states the thing is though i have never found these in store i literally have never seen them so when i saw these i was like yes cyo um which i think is a brand you can find in the states but again i've personally never seen it before however i found a whole bunch of it in london so i got a Bunch. This is a contour stick, a bronzing and illuminating compact collection primer. This is the Primed and Ready Reviving Anti-Fatigue Illuminating Primer, a cool rose shade. Also, this was stupid, stupid inexpensive. All my UK babes watching me right now, tell me what you guys think about Collection Beauty. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What should I try next? What's something that I should maybe avoid? I'm really interested to hear your guys' thoughts. This is the Collection Volumizing Mascara, CYO Metallic Eyeshadow. This is a crush on metal you guys this one is insane this one i saw and i was like is there a snake in there nope just makeup like that looks dope it's gold it's gold it's gold it actually didn't swatch as good as i would have wanted it to swatch we're still gonna try it out though collection contour highlight sculpt little set also very inexpensive something i really wanted to try because like i said i kind of want to do a full face collection and then i also got a collection blush two collection concealers they're adorable i got a mirror <laughs> i haven't seen this in the states either okay to my defense i haven't seen this in the states this is the new matte maker mattifying powder for maybelline i just want to use this you know kind of just to literally set my entire face and like i said i haven't seen it in the states so let's not judge a girl right now did i break anything collection defining lip liner it's a pretty color that looks dirty <laughs> a collection of velvet kiss moisturizing lip cream which is just their really long way of saying liquid lipstick a collection glam crystals liquid eyeshadow i love products like this anything that i can literally just swipe on my eyes and use my hands my fingers to blend it out i'm all for it we love a good finger moment here last makeup product is this eyebrow pencil from wet n wild which again i know it's in the states i am very familiar with the brand wet n wild however i did not know that they had a eyebrow pencil that is a thicker pencil i've only ever used their roll up twisty fine pencil i didn't know they had a thick one fam and i'm always down to try a thick one this was the last one that was in my eyebrow shade by the way all the other ones were auburn i am not about to have red eyebrows i don't even like red hair on me on me let me clear that statement up well i do like red hair on me but not growing it you get it you know what i mean i didn't want to get skincare but then i saw this stuff and i was like maybe i should it's better for the video it'll be a lot more inclusive if i not only do a full face london uk makeup but i should also do some skincare with it to really give a full review these are excuses i make for myself to spend more money I got a bunch of Boots brand Tea Tree and Witch Hazel, anything that I saw. I love Tea Tree, but when I read Witch Hazel, I might as well have just declared bankruptcy right then and there. Car payments, rent, I'll just bike everywhere, it's fine. I couldn't resist, I had to. So I got the Boots brand Tea Tree and Witch Hazel with an extract of berry jelly moisturizer. I'm super excited to give this a shot. It's not only gonna moisturize the skin, but like tone it and firm it and do all these amazing things to it, which I'm like, yes. I got exfoliating Tea Tree and Witch Hazel pads. No pineapples in sight, I just, I love it. Tea Tree and Witch Hazel blemish stick i don't actually know what this is i just read tea tree and witch hazel and was like throw it in the bag boots tea tree and witch hazel spot wand it has like a day side and a night side and all that reminds me of is that youtube video of like the birds going daytime nighttime daytime nighttime i don't even know how many times i've watched that youtube video but i can tell you right now it's like an embarrassing amount but that's what i think of also kid cuddy but more the birds i am so excited to try out all of these products i can't wait but that is all the stuff that i got i really hope you guys enjoyed this haul if you guys decided to stick around and watch it thank you guys honestly y'all are the realest um uh, i really appreciate it because i just like hanging out with you guys again you do have some homework to do i'm like a sexy teacher
<laughs> please leave in the comment section down below what products you guys want to see me use, what you guys are really excited to see me test out, put on my face, what you guys feel about Collection Beauty for all of my UK babes. If you guys have tried any of these products, let me know what you love, let me know what you hate. I love you guys so very much. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in my next